I'm right at the door. Uh, please don't walk off without it. Something about church people, when I say amen, they run out of here like, like a bat out of hell. Amen. <laughs> I do. What's so wrong with you guys, man? Shake a neck. Give a hug. Give a word. Give a prophecy. Lay hands on something. Do something. Then you can go about watching television or whatever you guys do on Sunday afternoon that you're such in a hurry to do. Amen. It's just incredible, man. They just leave it. Last week we had T-bone steaks and people walked out and left the steaks. I said, dang. T-bone steaks. I mean, wow. In church, the only thing we get is chicken. It was stay. I had a whole bunch of them left over. Wow. Yeah, and we you know, remember, guys. Pastor tries to fundraise, but at the same time, you don't got the money. Just grab the food. I don't. I don't have this. That's not. I'm old school. We all gonna eat. We gonna the only one try. We start a fight here in the parking lot. Hello. How am I not gonna? Eat? You know, because I was uh, I was a single parent when I came to Christ, raising my son by myself. Amen. Did, did you change that water? Because Margie put her lips on it. Uh, well, hell. Glory to God. And you know, I was a single parent. I was raising my little boy by myself and I had one income. How many understand one income? Yeah. It's kind of tight, ain't it? You got you to gotta make it happen. And um, I used to go to this big church and, and they had fellowship fundraisers and whatnot. And I was broke, so I couldn't go. And I said, Lord, if you ever give me a church, I'll make sure everybody gets hooked up. Nobody. Nobody for income, lack, whatever it is. You're smoking weed. That's your problem. Amen. <laughs> you know, you will. Just go by there. Hey, yo, man, pastor got me. Pastor, we, well, I know you, boy. Amen. Give this shout out to the boys and, and get blessed. So, please, always fellowship, always eat. If you got it, great. If not, we'll make Mary pay. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Mary's got this. Hallelujah. We're looking at, at, at the Holy Script to um, seek this understanding. 2 Samuel chapter 21. Find that in your word. And when you find it, please stand as acknowledgement that you did and as honoring, reverence the word of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh, um, kids church, kids church, unless you want to stay here and hear my sermon. Come on now. Yay, Pastor Sermon. Pastor Sermon. What happened? I guess no. What is up with that? Second Samuel chapter 21. I promise I won't keep you long. Like I say, um, we've, got, we've got such a... These church people, boy, they take their time with things. And I just want to say this morning, I'm glad we had moms. And I'm glad for moms. And mom's the biggest blessing God could give us. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 21, and we give God the glory. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings upon this time in your word. Give us a good word, powerful word, an understanding word, a life-changing word, and a fast word. We ask, oh God, that your glory will rest upon us, transforming us and giving us new insights to motherhood. New love for moms. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, amen. Second Samuel 21, verse 1 and following says, Then there was a famine in the days of David, three years, year after year. And David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now... The Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites and the children of Israel had sworn unto them and saw, sought to slay them in his seal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, what shall I do for you? Wherewith shall I make atonement that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? And the Gibeonites said unto him, We will have no silver nor gold for Saul, or of Saul, nor of his house, neither for us shall thou, uh, 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 neither for us shall thou kill any man in Israel. And he said, What ye shall say that I will do for you. 
Verse 5, and they answered the king, the man that consumed us and that devised against us that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coasts of Israel, let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us and we will hang them up unto the Lord in Gibeah of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. But the king spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because of the Lord's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, whom she bare unto Saul, Armoni and Mephibosheth, and the five sons of Milcah, the daughter of Saul, whom she brought up for Adriel, the son of Barzilla, the Meholotite. And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibeonites, and they hanged them in the hill before the Lord. And they fell all seven together and were put to death in the days of harvest, in the first days, in the beginning of barley harvest. And Rispa, the daughter of Aya, took sackcloth and spread it for her upon the rock. From the beginning of the harvest until water dropped upon them out of heaven. And suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by day, nor the beasts of the field by night. And it was told David what Rispa, the daughter of Aya, the concubine of Saul, had done. And David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his son, from the men of Jabesh Gilead, which had stolen them from the street of Bethshan, where the Philistines had hanged them, when the Philistine had slain Saul in Gilboa. And he brought up from thence the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his son, and they gathered the bones of them that were hanged. The bones of Saul and Jonathan and his son, Bury they in the country of Benjamin and Silla, in the sepulcher of Kish, his father. And they performed all that the king commanded. And after that, God was entreated for the land. You may sit in the presence of the Lord. My topic this morning is Rispa. Somebody say Rispa. Rispa. A mother's job is never, 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 never done. Rispa. I don't know about you, but some things I, I just, I just, it takes a while for me to get right. And I, I, I was, I was uh, uh, many, many years was one of those garbage cans. You ever seen one of those garbage cans that you have to lift up the top? to put in the, uh, the garbage and in, in your kitchen. You know, you lift at the top and you put the, you lift at the top and you put it, and it's like connected with that. But I upgraded, come on somebody. <laughs> and I got one of those fancy smancy garbage cans, you know what I mean? Those that, that, that you, with a foot, right? And the lid comes up and then you can throw it down there. Right? And every time you use a foot, amen? And, and, it, and it's like awesome invention. Awesome. I think Mexican people invented it. Awesome invention. The problem is this. I'm so used to doing it like I'm used to, I still go up there with a hand. You know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't do it. When you're accustomed to doing it the old way, even though an upgrade has been added, you don't flow with it. And when you come to the Lord, you have to do things in, in, in view of the upgrade Jesus has brought to your life. You have to look at it. You have to appreciate it. You have to flow with it. You have to do it like Jesus will have you to do it. Even though you're compelled, you better stop that. Tell your neighbor, stop that. Stop that. You know, when God needed someone to be the key person to produce the kingdom of God, he created a mother. A mother, not just a woman, but a mother. Amen. Amen. A mother is the Bible uh, most honored woman. And great stress is laid upon the influence of mothers. You know that the word mother or mothers appears in the Bible almost 300 times. We have one of those mothers, Rispa. 
which names means hot stone or hot coal as our note today rispa an unconventional mother for an unconventional unconventional time god has called you mother ma mom mother dear dearest mom mookie to be an unconventional mother god has called you to function at a time such as this rispa became a catalyst of redemption of re reconciliation a catalyst for closure god has called you and will use your life in a strange way like this strange story because you are a strange mother for a strange time come on tell a mother by you you're a strange mother you're a strange mother you're a strange mother sister terry you're a strange mother hallelujah if you're a mom or or have a mother anointing because you, you might not have been a mom i was i was thinking about a lady that came into our lives and the lady that came into our lives was the mother that the government had uh, um, taken her kids, accusing her of child neglect of sorts. And the thing is that Teresa became this lady's mother. You know, Teresa, she was the, um, the uh, um, Miami Rescue Mission Homeless Women and Children's Center's mother. She was the director of that for many, many, many years. And she would bring these strange women home with her. Amen. And this one lady, which was older than us, became Teresa's daughter. Teresa was involved in mothering her. You might not be a mother, but you're still involved in mothering. Hello, someone. Maybe you're a sister that's a mother maybe you're a cousin that's a mother perhaps a a grandma that's a mother maybe you're a daughter that's a mother but nonetheless you find yourself mothering you might be mothering other people's kids you're a rispa come on you're a rispa with a rispa anointing Hallelujah. Come here, bro brother, uh, brother Steve. I, I, I need a quick, quick, quick favor, but you got to run. You got to hustle because you're going to miss this. Now, sell him the CD. Come on, somebody. He goes like, what? Hey, Amen. Let me give you a couple points about Rispa, the mother whose job was never done. Here's a the background. There was a famine in Israel for three years. And it was because Saul was, was, was trying to exterminate a people called the Gibeonites because they were permeating the whole uh, um, land of Israel. It was back in the days of Joshua where it was a promise made to these people that they would not be harmed they would be allowed to live within the 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 Israeli com uh, community God takes promises seriously when you promise something to God come 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 up with it it's a serious thing this is not you know the American culture used to be a people of word that you could just shake their hands with them and that was it now you get contracts and, and you get witnesses and you still have to sue them. Hello. But not the people of God. God's people are supposed to keep their promises. And here Saul breaks his promise. And because of this, during David's reign, God brought judgment with a famine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. God, when God's people... Uh, especially God's leader, they are a, a, a reflection of the heart of God's people. And this God's leader violated a covenant with a people. And he 
broke his promise and there was an actuality during that time there was like a holocaust of sorts of the Gibeon people God takes that seriously sometimes God looks way back to settle score he'll, he'll, he'll look years back to make things right he doesn't wink at it he just don't let it go by by no no he will make righteous judgment America has aborted 55 million unborn children. God judged Israel's sin. Bring it over here. It's good. God judged Israel's sins. As Maria's been dirty up while nobody's looking. I got to clean up. God judged Israel's sin in his story, and he will judge America also. You know what Galatians 6, 7, and 8 says? Well, if you don't, I'm going to let you turn to it since my, um, I, I lost. Uh, pray that God will send me someone that, that will help me with my audiovisual stuff. My person, she's got a job, and sometimes she's here, and sometimes she's not. And I need someone that I can depend on. Amen. So I need a, a, an audiovisual person that will help me. Uh, and and but it's because we like to see the verses up there but i'll let you find it in your bible galatians 6 and 7 look what it says uh, uh 6 7 and 8 galatians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8 here's what god says be not deceived god is not mocked for whatever whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap whatever you do is going to come back to you for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Come on. I'm, I'm going to reap to the flesh, to the spirit. I ain't reaping to the flesh. Huh? Come on, Rispa. Stand up for righteousness. Stand up and say no to abortion. Say no to abortion. See, the story shows that that the Gibeonites came. I'm going to go forward, so go back. The Gibeonites came to David. David came and asked the Lord, why is this famine? And, 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 and the Lord told him, it's because Saul killed all those people. And so there is a drought. Ask the Gibeonites what they would prefer so that they can be an expiation of this travesty. So they said, what we want is Saul's family to die. We don't want the people of Israel to die. We want Saul's family. We want them killed. And so they did. They grabbed seven of Saul's son. Two of them belonged to a concubine uh, uh, of Saul named Rispa, the, the mother in our story. And Rispa, when they killed her sons, apparently they hung them and then they laid them on the rocks just there to rot in a way. Mm. And this mother, in, in defense of her kids, would, would, uh, took up posts. And for six months, she would shoo away the buzzards. She would, for six months, day and night, she would chase off the, the animals. You know, because we know that when there's a rotten flesh, the animals, the, the scavengers come to eat of them she would protect the dignity of her kids mothers 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 you have to say no to abortion you have to shoo away that abortion demon and abortion spirit you have to say no we will not abort we will raise our children we will take care of our children we would, if need to, we would have them adopted, but we would not abort them. See, my son is alive right now because I was a dad at 16. And my son is a, a, alive right now because my mother said, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Because they, they gave us that option. Why don't you abort the child? And we are scared teenagers. We said, yeah, let's abort them. But you had to sign back then to do that. Mothers had to sign. And we brought that proposition to a Christian mother, Steve. Say, are you crazy? If you dare do that, I'll kill you. Hello, I was like, are you crazy? Huh? 
How you, you better, you better, man, what's wrong with you, fool? And because she shooed away that abortion opportunity and that abortion, my son is alive right now. The other day he gave the church a check. I said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God uses Rispa at a time as this as an instrument of grace. Uh, at a time of feud and famine and for her fortune, her fortune, Rispa, Mother Rispa, you're the instrument of grace. Ladies, you're the instrument of grace. Understand that. You are the instrument of grace for your family. My mother was the instrument of grace. Uh, when times are tough, she would show up. Hello, somebody. Uh, yes. As we see in the Proverbs 31 lady, verse 30 says of her, your favor, excuse me, your, your, you, your, 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 you, you, mother, you, Understand this, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord shall be praised. Amen. That was my mom, a woman, an instrument of grace. That she showed up promoting the grace of God, the possibility of grace, the helps in grace, the victory of God's grace, the, hell, the, whole, the whole shebang of grace. Just say, God will do it. Depend on God's grace, not because you ain't messed up, because you messed up, fool. Not because you're, you're not crazy, because you're crazy, fool. Not because you don't got issues, because we know. But because God's grace. Rispa. During the famine, David asked God, why? And God tells him. God says, hey, you know. You got to make things right. You got to make things right. They said, give me the Saul's children. The lives of seven of Saul's sons. Two of them were Rispa's sons. They were probably left on the rock to die. I mean, I, 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 I couldn't even understand what a mother would feel when they see her sons hung on a tree for something they didn't do. All right, just life picked them out of the whole uh, um, creation and, and killed them in front of her and, and hung them on a, on, a, on a tree and then threw them on the rock like garbage. I can't, I can't understand what, what, what emotions a mother would have felt or gone through or processed when her kids are treated that way. Mom see their kids in certain lights that 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 that, that are that, that that are just just beyond moms get to experience some some unfair stuff when it comes to their kids and moms got to show up hello no matter what they're feeling no matter what they're going through no matter what moms got to show up moms got to show up for the kids moms got to do it for the kids Mom's got to be there for the kids. Rispa was a concubine of Saul. Amen. Concubine of Saul. That's the second wife. Hello, somebody. That's the side chick. You know what I'm talking about, huh? That's the other lover. That's the secret lover. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the baby's mama. That's the mother of the two boys from Saul. Can I tell you? Risk but you do matter. You do matter. You're high esteem, not low esteem. Risk but you do matter. You're the Proverbs 31, 28 says, the children call her blessed and her husband praises her. You do matter. Rispa, mother Rispa, don't let anybody play you. Huh? Use, abuse, and refuse you. You don't, don't know me like that. Who do you think I am? Hallelujah. Come on now. 
I tell people, hey, este negro, <laughs> este, please, it's ha <laughs> ha. That's, that, that's the saying, saying, this brother, man, you crazy, girl. Hallelujah. And the ladies, you got to say, esta prieta. Hello, this black girl, don't even try that. This, ha ha ha. Who you, I ain't no other. I ain't the other. I'm the one. Ladies say, I'm the one. I'm the one. I got, I got some sorry ladies. Ladies say, I'm the one. Men say it for them. I'm the one. I hear nothing. We got some sorry church people. You got to understand, you got to help me preach. You got to bring it out of me. If not, we just close right now. Amen. Thank you, white person. Hallelujah. You get a white person that, that yell, you know it's getting excited. Hello. Glory to God. Proverbs 31, 23 says, her husband is known in the gates. He's respected because of his position and because he's married to such a respected woman. Can I tell you, it's because he's married to you that he gets that type of respect. Hello, somebody. It's because he's hooked up with you that he's blessed. It's because he, 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 he has you bringing him up that he's going up. Hello? It's because of you. My, my, my. I, kept, I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm, I'm the man I am because of my wife. I, I got what I got because of my wife. I ain't crazy. I, ain't, <laughs> I hooked up real good. I tied my, my, my caboose to somebody, hello, my train to somebody, some good caboose. It, it, it ain't that type of caboose. Hello. Rispa. Rispa shows up. She might have been a hoochie. I don't know. There's some hoochies in the church right now. Some ex-hoochies. Don't act like you saw. Hold up me. Huh? Backing it up, laying it down. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Church people weren't born saved. They were born again. Yeah, there's twerkers. You know what's a twerker, um, Steve? We'll teach you later. Hallelujah. He's, he's innocent. Hey! No matter what, no matter what, God grace covers that and elevates her to be married to the king. You're married to the Lord. Hallelujah. You're married to Jesus. You're married to the Father. Hallelujah. Though nobody wants, they still want to call you Rispa from back, uh, Rispa from off the block. No, no, no. We're talking about Rispa. Rispa shows up with sackcloth and begins six months vigil. She saw when the vultures were coming down to molest the bodies and goes and drives these jackals and animals away. I don't know if you've ever seen a, a vulture just tearing up a dead carcass. You ever seen that? They're scary. They're gross looking. Like we say in the hood, they're nasty. Oh, my God. And she's out there for six months. Anything that will come and cause indignity to those bodies of her sons. Knocking away, driving away. She would run over here on this side and run over here where the other four bodies were. And run She'll run all over the place. Anything that costs indignity, anything that tried to touch their bodies, anything. She'll drive away everything, anything, and anybody that, that wanted to touch her kids' bodies. You ain't touching my kids' body. I, 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 I kill you. Touch my kids' body. You crazy? No matter who you are, no matter what you are, no matter what person, you, you ain't nobody touching my kids' body. Not relatives, you ain't touching my kid's body. Not friends, you ain't touching my kid's body. Not, not, not school teachers, you ain't touching my... Boy, I... 
I'll, go to, I'll get a case off this. Hello. Some people don't know what I just said. Hey, Amen. I will be incarcerated for that matter. Hello. Nobody going to touch my kids' bodies. I'm RISPA. That's my job. Ladies, don't let anybody. No, 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 no. Keep from the old school. Hmm. No, 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 no. We can make sure. We make sure. No, but I'm not, I don't care who you think you are. I'm another uncle. Oh, another uncle? Boys and girls nowadays. Boys and girls. You have to be Rispa. Rispa. She trusted God even though she couldn't control what happened. Hello? No matter if that happened, no matter what happened, you still got to trust God's going to show up. God's going to be fair. God's going to bring righteous judgment. God's going to heal. God's going to deliver. God's going to lift up your kids. She trusted God. She kept going forward no matter what happened. Rispa is a, a symbol of eternal maternal love. A person devoted. A person dedicated to her kids. She don't quit after things get tough. She don't quit after things happen. She don't quit because baby daddy. She don't quit because now she's a widow. She don't quit. She's dedicated and devoted. Alleluia. You know, because you got to understand that a mother's love goes beyond the grave. Are you with me? Goes beyond the grave. Mm -hmm. No events can, can stop a mother's love. No, no time can stop it. No, no. The, the, the indignity of her sons, a, a cursed thing couldn't stop it. Rispa, even though your mother's a, uh, even though your son has been murdered because of this or that, you keep loving. You keep declaring. You keep doing. Rispa, you, you, even though your, 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 your son is a murderer, the indignity of that. Rispa mothers show up at the courthouse. When your mother, even if your son is a drug dealer, Rispa mothers go visit him in the jail. Even though, even though your, your son was a thief and stole everything you had, Rispa mother sends him a little commissary money. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. See, Steve, sometimes the food in jail is no good. I got to break it down, white. And so th there are needs there that monies have to, you know, so the Family members that still love them, you know, like mothers, like Rispin mothers, will send some monies to be put in an account so that when they have a need, the son that stole everything that she had. Hello? Rispa. Rispa. We need mothers that will be like that. Full of Rispa love. Not because they deserve it, but because it's a mother's love. We need mothers that will beat away anything that, that, that will come and devour their children. That will beat away the television set. Hello? That cable. That will lock it. That will censor the internet. That will beat away the low standards. That will get rid of the alcohol drinking even though Jesus made wine. Hmm. We need, we, we, we need, we need rispa mothers. Hallelujah. That will get, 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 just, just drive away crazy fellows. I don't know how you just turn over these beautiful young ladies to, to, to some crazy Negro that honks the horn talking about, come on out. Are you, you must be tripping, fool. I won't let you touch. I won't let you throw out my garbage thinking that you might go through it. Right. 
You know, sometimes I think to myself, what happened to the dignity of the American? We call it etiquette. You know, people would, would, would pride themselves of things, of stuff, huh? of their possessions, of their properties, of their persona. They, they were proud. Now it's like, como quiera, como Juan por su casa. Ain't nothing but a thing, I don't care. Huh? Rispa. <laughs> Ladies should say, lips that touch wine will never touch mine. Hello. Bunch of drunk whatnots there trying to get with me, smelling like 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 alcohol and, and the devil's underarm pit with cigarettes. Uh, you ever had a man kiss you? Just a smell. Like, you were looking good till now. Hello, Rispa, Rispa, Rispa. We need mother that 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 chase away. With passion that, that, that will drive away all that will devour their kids. See, I come from a Latin back. I mean, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have too much ethics. We'll tell you right there. You, you better go away, fool. You got a job? No, get this, get this idiot out of my face. He don't even got a job and he's trying to establish a relationship, emotional tie. Are you crazy? Kick that fool out the house. Huh? You don't have a job? You're 40 and you still live with your mother? Are you? Huh? What's wrong with you? I ain't go to school. Why don't you go to school? Because I'm not that sharp. Wait a minute. I got some illegal immigrants just came in from another country, don't even speak the language, and they're in school. Why? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? They don't even speak the language. Hello, Rispa, drive those fools away. Hello, drive them away. Drive them or kick them. Sick the dogs on them. When you see them walking on, turn on the water, turn on the, the sprinklers. Echale agua, echale perro, echale prey de pulga. Put some, 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 some DDT on them, boy. Well, what your mother did? Did you do that on purpose? No. <laughs> no, I did. Crazy. Rispa, baby. Rispa. That mother's love. That mother's love. Mother's love. That, that uncommon strength. A strange anointing in our time. A, a, a mother with all kinds of strength. <laughs> Ladies, you guys got to get with God and get strengthened with his might. You can't do it unless God imparts to you. You got to have the strength of Jesus flowing through you to face stuff like you guys have to face nowadays with these low account men that you have to deal with. Sorry, Negroes. Just sorry. Just sorry. Huh? Want to be players in church. Do all kind of nasty stuff and say the Lord is okay. The Lord's okay with what? <laughs> the Lord's okay with what? Don't let pastor find out. You better catch him in a good mood. He'll throw you out the church and then tell all the other churches about you. We need some seriousness. Got a bunch of charlatans talking about their men of God. You ain't no good. You don't image Christ. Huh? These poor ladies got to put up with that. Working three jobs while he home watching soap operas. Go home one day and grab the television and just slam it. Do a wrist on that thing. Uh, hanging out at the house watching porn. Hello? And you know, you know, you know he is. You know he is. If you don't want to find out, just ask for the records. Is there? You don't want to. You don't want to find out because you don't want to find out, huh? Rispa, uncommon strength, uncommon valor, uncommon. That lady was there. Rispa, 
Hallelujah. Strange anointing for a strange situation. <laughs> she had an uncommon standard. You know what? Because she did the right thing. Nobody else did the right, but she did. She showed up. She said, she said I don't got nothing else. I got this, this veil, this sackcloth. <laughs> She's trying to protect herself from the, from the heat of the day and from the cold of the night. When she got a break for a second, to take a break just to rest, all of a sudden there's a, there's a big old rat. She's stopping that mess. See, mom, because I know you feel like that's what you're doing. I know that's what you're doing. Hey, somebody praise him. You guys say, you guys say. Uncommon standard. She did the right thing. The king didn't do the right thing. The men didn't. No one did the right thing. Who can find a virtuous woman, Proverbs says. Her honor is high. Her value is far, far higher than rubies. Hallelujah. Rispa comes and builds her little tent with her sackcloth. Just, just trying to put up with the the climate the the heat and the cold the, the the temperature in the middle of the night a constant vigil for 6 months as the body of her children blacken and begin to rot and the bones are are bleached the, the see you see rispa mothers are constant Constant vigil, constant stalking. Hello, moms will stalk you. And moms, who's that? What's that in the bushes? That's your mother. Hallelujah. We used to hang out in the hood over there on 32nd Street, Keith, right by the Robert E. Lee School, under the bridge, getting high, drinking and whatnot. You know, just kicking it with the fellas, you know, just lying all this female and me, and, and you ain't doing nothing. Shut up. Hello. And, 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 and we'd be there kicking. I mean, it's dark under the bridge and under the, the Vidoc. It's just dark. And guess who show up around there with a big old Bible? My mother, Rispa. Hey, is anybody up there? David, Tutahai. David, are you there? And the fellas, the fellas turn to me and say, hey, that's your mama with a Bible. Hello. She down there, bro. You better, yo, yo, shut up, man. Don't tell her anything. No, he's not here. He's not here. You better, you, you better not, don't make me come up there. Get home now. It's late. Get home now. Rispa. Rispa trying to, trying to shoo away the problems of young men that are drinking and smoking and not at home at night. Trying to shoo away police officers from beating them with billy clubs. Trying to shoo. Rispa. Rispa Teresa chasing Sammy. Where is he? She's driving all over Hialeah. Where is she? Where is he? I can't find him. He, he's not in Miami Lakes. Where could he be? Rispa, diligent, six months, six months. <sighs> she couldn't control what happened, but wouldn't allow anything further to bring in dignity to occur. Hmm. Hmm. She was a tireless symbol of maternal love. Drive away anything, anything friends um, you know those mispas that, that, that mess with your friends don't come around here don't come around here I don't want you around my son you, don't, don't be so nice that you tell them you ain't no good you a bum you're trying to teach my kid how to steal you're trying to get him involved in, in, in weird sexual stuff I, get, get away from my kid you can't get mad at me oh, you messing with my friends you dang skippy I'm messing with your friend Got no problem telling you that. I'll tell them, bring them over here. And they mess with me, I'll punch him in the head. Hello. I'm a pastor. I, get, I lose. Hello. I'll lose my credential over my son. Boy, don't play. 
And I've never done that. I'm just blessed. <laughs> They're like, damn, Pastor, you're crazy. No, I've never done that. I couldn't last two rounds. <laughs> Where'd Pacquiao at? Pacquiao. Come on, Pacquiao. Hello. Where he fought the other day, I can beat him. Anyway. <laughs> Listen to me, listen to me. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. There's Samuel, praise the Lord. Samuel, you're going to have to catch the CD. You missed most of it. It was good. We were talking about you. Hallelujah. She'll drive away those friends. She'll drive away those fiends. Some of your friends are fiends. They ain't no good. They're fiends for this and fiends for money and fiends for car and fiend for this and fiend for everything. They're fiends. And Rispa, you got to go to, you got to go to town on these fiends. If you have to call the police, call the police. If you got to trick them out to immigration, trick them out to immigration. What? Hello? Yes, I got a Manolo over here. Yeah, he no good. Hey. Rispa will trick. Tricks are for kids. Silly rabbit. <laughs> foes foes if you got to get rid of foes get rid of foes if you got to deal with bad educators Sunday school teachers bad educators drive them away drug addicts don't be intimidated by them get a big stick and say you mess I'm calling Popo right now I'm calling Popo don't you smell like weed? I'm, I'm here. You're in right here. I want to, right here, right here now. <laughs> Got to drive away nasty girls. You know, girls are nasty. They just, they just all over the place nowadays. They want to be loved so much, they'll, 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 they'll just give it away. Hello? Mmm. They want to be appreciated. They'll, they'll, they'll go to bed with. Hmm? Mm, that's my son. My, a lady had to come and beg me for my son's hand in marriage. Who's she? She's a church. What, what does she want? Oh, she want to. What? Get away from me for a while, man. Get away. I'm going to pray about this. I don't know. She look crazy. Hallelujah. Who she is? Oh, she a virgin. She better. Ha. Ah. The other day was a trip. I had two virgins in the back seat of my car. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, it's a first. <laughs> the last time you saw two virgins together. Hello. I mean adults. 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 I was like, wow, that is so cool. Hey, Amen. I'm going to marry both of them. I'm going to marry them put together. Pastor, don't start nothing. You guys should get together. Hallelujah. Rispa has to drive away those nasty girls. Got to get rid of those bad friends. Got, got to get rid of those attacks. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, you, you got to get rid of. Come on. Drive away. Bad diets. <laughs> drive away. Whatever. Why? Because mom hates you. No, 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 no. Can, can I tell you why mom Rispa drives away? Because he loves you. Because she loves you. Not because she hates you. Because she loves you. Yeah. Why are you messing with me? You don't want me to have a life? No, 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 no. That's the reason why we want you to have a life. We don't want you to mess up your life. We don't want you to get in trouble and lose your life. It's the opposite. Rispa loves you. That's why he's driving it away. That's why. Rispa. The problem is that there was a rumor about Rispa that she had gone to bed with, um, with one of um, David's generals. And the rumor has it that she was no good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The good thing was that we found out that Rispa was a good old girl. Are you with me? She was a good girl. She was a good girl. She was she 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 was she wasn't that type of person. But nonetheless, because they said she was sleeping with Abner, Abner got upset and took the ten tribes that were following him and brought them over to David's side. 
Can I tell you this, Rispa, you that are honest, righteous woman of God, hallelujah. Sometimes God is going to use rumors about you. They're going to be messing with you, talking about you, gossiping, lies, this and that and whatnot. But it's to make you. When they say you ain't no, <laughs> that you are, uh, hello, God's going to turn that around. God, God's going to flip that and bring blessings to everybody. Mothers, you need a rispa anointing, that weird anointing for weird situations to bring unity to the house, to bring unity to the kingdom of God. God is using rispa to stop and reconcile some stuff. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was a weird thing. Am I, am I right? That was weird. Hallelujah. She was used to break the famine. She, she was, now, now, now look how weird she was. She was dressed in sackcloth. Which, which really represents, hallelujah, brokenness and repentance. And she was representing the house of Saul. She was part of the sin, even though she wasn't directly part of the sin. You know what I'm talking about, moms. You ever blame yourself for your kids' sins? For your people's sins? And Rispa, Rispa, as crazy as she was looking, full of motherly love, she becomes a type of Christ. Mm -hmm. She becomes a type of Christ that with his cross, with his cross, Shoes away the jackals and, the, and, and, and the, the accusing vultures and the condemning vermin. And he destroys sin, that which was considered a curse, that, that, that which was stricken and afflicted of God. Don't reject God's will for your life. Don't reject God's will for your life. Don't reject God's will for your life, Rispa. Hallelujah. Come on, stand with me. The Rispas and the Rispos, stand with me. They said the king took notice of her. What she was doing. And she was convicted. He was convicted of what had happened. The king took notice and said, look at this lady. She's doing the right thing. And she's been at it for six months without any sleep, without any rest. Six months. She's out there day and night. Six months. Hallelujah. Rispa. Then leave her post. Rispa brought conviction to the king. Hallelujah. That he may answer the, the prayer of a mother. You know, moms, you can get God's. You can get God's attention. And you can bring conviction to God to answer your prayers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can bring conviction to the king. I respected Morris' response to that. But... You have influence with the king. He's watching you and what you're doing. You're persevering. You're still doing it even though it's been six months. Even though it's been a year. Even though it's been three years. Even though you're still praising him. You're still blessing him. You're still on your post. You're still doing the God thing. You're still doing the Jesus thing. You have influence with the king. The king came around and did the right thing. He went and found Saul and Jonathan's bones, dug them up, because they were supposed to be buried in a kingly way. Then he went and picked up the five, the seven, two from Rispa and the other five, and, 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 and did the right thing by them. Rispas, you can get the king to do the right thing by your kids. You can, you, can, you can, I just take note of that mother. After all that time, 
after everything she went by, day and night out there, God, are you going to do the right time? Are you, are you going to show up? Are you, are you going to make it happen? I just imagine when she went out the last day, and she was there worn and, and just tattered and overwhelmed, and she's, she's still, still on her post, and all of a sudden the king shows up with his men, with a whole entourage, they show up there. And they say, you, you're Rispa. I say, yes, I'm Rispa. The king says, no more worries. No, he's going to take care of everything. We, we're going to make it right for you. And escort her, sit down, give her something to drink, give her some food. Man, get it. Pick him up. And with all honors, they unfold the wrap and gently place every one of her boys each and every one of them yes. with love and honor and dignity yes. glory to God let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go hallelujah it's a long story from Mother's Day pastor weird story different story I just got overwhelmed with all the the many, many, many views of a, what a mother goes through. I just want to pray for the mother, just a quick prayer. If we just come here quickly, and I just want to bless you and thank the Lord for you. And for the men, maybe you're not moms, but you can appreciate mom. You can bless the Lord with mom. You can pray for moms and everything they go, for, go, go through. And you may be like me. I was a mother for a while. I was a single dad, so I did the role of mother and father. And so it, it, I, I kind of feel what moms go, go by and go through and have to go through. And sometimes it's hard. But praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for them because they have to do what God allows them to, to do. They have to face what God allows them to face. But they, they, they must persevere. Heavenly Father, I lift up all these moms. You know the stuff that they have to face and the things they have to go through and the, the overwhelming problems, the conditions, uh, the things they have to fight and the, 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 the things they have to shoo away and even being, being uh, rejected by their kids at, at times, being fussed at and, 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 and just mistreated. Lord, I, I, I lift them up because one thing about Rispa she didn't worry about herself. She just worried about her kids. She just worried about the kids' well-being. That was the last thing on her mind she didn't worry about. It was just about her kids. Lord, right now, I know right now these moms are thinking about their kids. Wanting their kids blessed. Wanting a breakthrough for their kids. Wanting, wanting, wanting themselves to be. Because Rispa had to take care of herself too. Lord, Rispa had to heal herself also in this whole venture. She had to come to grips with God and everything else. Lord, I lift up these moms. You know who they are and what they are and, and, and the who of their existence right now. Lord, I pray that you would show up like you showed up for Rispa. And answer the petitions of their hearts answered whatever desire they have hallelujah but take care of them also minister to them also bless them also be glorified in them also hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus we bless you we bless you oh god give them the rispa anointing give them the rispa anointing oh god give them the rispa anointing sharabashito give them the rispa anointing Give them the Rispa anointing. Sharabashito Romboke. Give them the Rispa anointing. Glory to your name that they too, that they too can rejoice. That they too, hallelujah. Oh, for your glory and for your praise. And I pray, oh God, for the men here, that they would be there to support and bless and, and, and to act like men of God toward the women of God. That they would be able to minister to them. In every aspect. For your glory and for your praise, oh God. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. God bless you. 
God bless you. We're going to dismiss right now. Hallelujah. Forgive me for keeping you, but I wanted you to take, I wanted you to take the message.